this video I show you how to do a volume measurement with a ventilator which has an intended leak. In this case it's a Philips V60 ventilator for spontaneous breathing patients. After connecting the Citrix H5 gas flow analyzer to the ventilator on one side, I have connected a smart lung on the other side. Then I generated a leak on the smart lung. After some breath, the volume measurement stabilized uh, with a VT of 242 and a minute volume VE of 2.9 liter per minute. But as you can see here on the Citrix H5, the flow measurement shows a base flow during exhalation. And this base flow has to be compensated for volume measurement, for inspiratory and expiratory volume measurement. So therefore, you see here the, the values are wrong, so you have to go into the setting screen, to the trigger setting, and then you see here base flow, and really you have to adjust the base flow to the value you have measured before. And then you have also to adjust the trigger threshold, it's the threshold for volume measurement when the volume measurement actually starts it's about three liter above the base flow in this case 12 and now you can go back to the screen to the measurements and you will see now uh, that the volume the tidal volume measurement VTE on the Citrix and the minute volume VE it's 2.7 liter per minute will correspond now to the V60 of course if you consider the tolerance is given to those measurements on the ventilator. So to summarize, it's very important that you compensate the base flow in the gas flow analyzer that you get the right readings for inspiratory and expiratory volume measurement.